Hello, hello. Good afternoon, YouTube. How are you guys doing? First of all, I want to say happy, happy birthday, Maddie. I love you, sweetheart. God bless you. You turned 10 years old today. Jeremiah, you're an awesome big brother to Maddie. Keep on doing the good work. And uh, Mama Ebony, you are doing a wonderful job raising your kids. You got amazing children. They're so sweet and so loving. So, um, God bless you, Maddie. I, I, I am giving a challenge to everybody right uh, watching this video to wish Maddie a happy birthday today and tell her how beautiful that she is. Okay, so we're doing day four of the Bible War Room Journal Strategy. So, we kind of did, you know, yesterday I explained about the keychains and everything, and um, I um, wanted to practice the three Ps all day. It's pray, pause, and proceed. Invite Jesus to join me in all things, even stuff like laundry, carpool, hair salon, and exercise. Always remember, if you have to put a little sticky note on your car, on your your school notebook on your cell phone and write the three p's and put underneath it kind of like write p period p period p pray pause and proceed you know just continue to do this so that's going to be our thing for today um I'm gonna go over, I didn't get to do my video last night. I was exhausted, I didn't feel good, you guys. I'm, I'm not feeling too well today, so. If you guys can kind of please pray for me. My uh, blood pressure has just been just a little bit low, but the good Lord has me all the time. God is good all the time and all the time, God is good. And we are blessed and highly favored even on our worst days. Um, I want to read for today best gifts of all no matter what situation you're in if, if you know one thing i can say and two things for sure god never lets a lot not never he never allows us to be ashamed in our hope in him okay and even when people are so evil and so mean and they're bullying people you got to remember let's love them and pray for them once again i put in every video hurt people have hurt people so we got to pray for them whatever they're going through that god will help them through it it's called best gift gift best gifts of all john 3 17 god sent the one god sent not the son into the world to judge the world but that the world shall be saved through him few things make us happier as parents than being able to give something to our children that we know they'll love whatever sacrifice we make to reach this point are worth it when we see their purpose and joy god has gifts for us all the time, but they're not reserved for our birthday, Christmas, or another special occasion. Some gifts are so small that we might not even notice them every day, like bird songs or wildflowers along the road. Others are so big that we can't ignore them, like being spared from a hurricane or a tornado path or having a perfect but unexpected opportunity fall into our lap. Thank you, Jesus, all the time. If y'all see my background, yes, I'm sitting in the bathroom on the floor. This is my quiet time, my war room. Um, but the biggest and best gift is that God has given us it through his son, Jesus Christ. God sent Jesus to live on earth so that people could earn, can learn about him and want to follow him. The accumulation of God's plan was for Jesus to die on the cross in our place so that we can an eternity in heaven with God instead of being separated forever. I could not imagine being separated from our parents forever, would you? Sending Jesus to earth wasn't an easy thing for God to do. And watching Jesus die on that cross was the worst part of it all. We cannot even imagine going through that as a parent. But God did. He did it because of what it would mean in the long run, righteous son and daughters for eternity righteous sons and daughters for eternity you guys the joy that we would have at being invited to live forever in heaven mirrored god's pleasure in, at giving it to us and made everything worthwhile we know how much it warms our hearts to hear sincere thank you from our children 
when we give them special gifts or just even, a, and I say this because everybody always thinks that a gift is materialistic. And I stop that right there before I go any further. Parents' gifts do not have to be materialistic, you guys. Parents' gifts can be a simple hug, a simple I love you, a simple spending time with your child, going treasure hunting in the woods with them, picking up acorns, doing things, and, and just remember the most important things and the most special things in life. Because some things can occur in life to where you can lose that opportunity and you those are unreplaceable memories. My word, every time I go to do a devotion. Just one moment. I apologize, honey. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, Why don't we do the same for God today? Our dear Heavenly Father, you thank, thank you so much for giving me the best gifts of all, knowledge of your son, Jesus, and the chance to spend eternity with you in heaven. Help me to never take it for granted. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. So, I wanted to read a few cool things to you guys. And I have another Bible challenge. Yes, I do. Maddie, I wanted you to hear this, honey. Jeremiah, I wanted you to hear this. And anybody that's really needing to hear this right now, please. It's the most beautiful thing out of the Bible, you know. It's Matthew 5, verse 3 through 12. The Beatitudes. Blessed are those who are poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be fulfilled. I'm, for, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil things against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. My point of saying that is, no matter how mean somebody is to you, Maddie, honey, or if they're picking on you, or whatever's going on, even you, Jeremiah, or anybody else that's watching this video that's going through a life crisis or whatever it may be going on. Kids and us adults as well. When somebody hurts us and insults us, do not hold anger and malice in our hearts because we have to forgive to be forgiven. And if we ask God to bless them and forgive them, blessed are we in the kingdom of heaven. We never want to wish no ill on nobody. I know it's hurtful and anger. It makes us angry and mad when people are angry and hurtful to us. But baby, if they're going through something, remember, hurt people hurt people. So pray for them and ask God to bless them. Bless them. And do just the next best right thing, honey. And always remember, God did not make no mistakes. So there is nothing wrong with you at all. And don't ever wish you were like anybody else because God made you uniquely the way he wanted to make you. Everybody is unique. Everybody is beautiful in their own way. Though I walk through in the midst of trouble, you revive me. You will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. I trust in your great love to uphold me. Lord, my battle is not over. I walk through treacherous ground, yet it will still but yet I will still trust to save and you just to save and deliver me you will fight for me in Psalms 138 verse 7 so before I close this out with the prayer you guys day number two I'll go over the Genesis chapter 16 verse 7 through 13 
tonight with you that I had a challenge with you of yesterday. But today's challenge, Bible reading challenge, is going to be Exodus chapter 15, verse 22 through 27. Remember, take notes and let's talk about it in the comments. And that's Jehovah Rapha, my healer. If I do not say things the correct way on here, I clearly let everybody know when I first started these videos, I also have a disability. So if the words don't come out right, I mean for them to, but they may not sound exactly how they're supposed to, but God knows what I'm trying to say. So um, with that being said, the closing prayer for today is giving out, your, get, giving out of your love. Matthew 5, verse 41 and 42. If someone forces you to go on, if someone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give the one who asks you. Give to the one who asks you, and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. I cannot believe how much others expect of me. Today I will face the demands of family, co-workers, and others who need my time. When I answer my door, I know it will be someone who wants something from me, people say. Save me from my first reaction, which is to shut down or shut that door. Allow me to go above and beyond what people are asking me of. You will give me the strength and ability to do so. I need not to worry about my own shortcomings because today I will come to you and ask to borrow, to borrow the patience, kindness, and love I need to go that extra mile. And I love that little prayer because there is times, you know, when... You know that you're, you're the kindest person in the world, but then it's like, golly. But never stop doing good is the point of that whole little thing right there. No matter what, never stop good, doing good. One sour apple can ruin a whole bushel that really needed help. Meaning, somebody that may have took advantage of you or took the wrong way of you can damage you from helping somebody that truly needed a listening ear, an opening heart. Maybe they had no food whatsoever. They were starving. They were begging for help for something to eat. And they knew that they can come to you or somebody, or you knew the right resources to send them to. And then they went and did something stupid, got either killed or put in jail. You know, it's just simple stuff like that. God wants us to love each other. So let's do the next best thing. My next challenge is today. Let's do something out of love. For somebody today. I love you guys and God bless. Oh yeah, I can't end this video yet. You, If you could please like, share, and subscribe to this video, I would be very, very, very excited. Um, if you can re uh, subscribe to Rick and Rad, that would be awesome. I'm going to be opening an Instagram and a Facebook as well. And I will start making Facebook videos as well. So God bless you guys.